forcing you to get insurance. Right. You know, and what happens if you're you're 20 years old? Mm-hmm. You know, you're probably even healthy. You don't need to go to the doctor. I mean, you don't have physicals and checkups and stuff like that, but that's where they're making all the money. They're, so now the government is in the bill collecting business for the insurance companies. And it is just crazy. You know, you go to Canada, and Canada provides insurance for all their people, and you don't have to pay for it. That doesn't mean that you got to pay for it out of your own pocket. I mean, all of, these, all of those countries got into is the insurance business. And they've already been into it before. GEICO is actually an insurance company that was for the military. For people that were in the military, it was a, a really big insurance company that people will cover people. Or you know, automotive life insurance, things like that. But you know, I mean, this is this is the way the country is. Is that if you got a lot of money in the bank, you know, you get away with more stuff. If you don't, then you get taxed, you get fined, you get all this crap. And you know, I, I'll never forget when a friend of mine came to me and he says, you know, Warren Buffett was on the news. He said, and he said that his secretary pays more taxes than he does. Now, we're talking about one of the richest men in the world, okay? You know, Warren Buffett, Bill Gates. You know, you got these people, and he said that his secretary pays more taxes than he does. Now, you tell me what's wrong with this country. Damn. That's That's outrageous. And, you know, you got George Soros, too. He doesn't... Then you got Hillary Clinton hasn't paid her taxes either. You got Donald Trump, but won't re- won't um, reveal his taxes because you know what did Donald Trump say the last? What did he say when he had a debate with Bernie Sanders? It would be for um, women's rights, women's health, women's health issues. Remember, women's um, uh, um, we go for women, um, go for women uh, help. Women's rights. Well, guess that term is Planned Parenthood. That's right, Planned Parenthood. Donald Trump ha- has spent over, I repeat, over two point three million dollars for Planned Parenthood. He did that under supporting the Clinton Foundation. Does the Murray support the Clinton Foundation? Well, that money went to Planned Parenthood under the Clinton Foundation. He has given money to the Clinton Foundation. Under Planned Parenthood. Now, how do I know that? Newsmax got this information. Newsmax. I'm also a member of the Digital Watch. I get from I get from them. We're as a watchdog group, conservative watchdog group of Digital Watches. We uh, we also look out. Uh, um, oh, and by the way, well, one you know about a Digital Watch. Um, that uh, we there's an we have an accusation. Against Hillary Clinton, she can be indicted later this week. Believe it or not, there's enough, there's enough uh, materials working to indict Hillary Clinton. Um, when we get that, and we when this breaks later this week, we told you first. So don't be surprised when we see an indictment charge uh, coming on Fox News sometime this week. So don't be surprised if you see that on Fox. So uh, we broke the news first. We did it because we ca- we care. We alert and we educate them. We 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 alert, educate, and inform people. So that's what we do here. We are not looking out for you. We are, in fact, looking out for America. So that's what we're doing. Why? Because we care. All lives matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what ethnic group you belong to. It doesn't matter if you're Indian, Hispanic. Uh, uh, Mexican or or um, a- Asian, uh, Hawaiian, uh, you know, uh, a lot of, uh, um, uh, Eskimo, or, or doesn't matter for Indian. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to us. It doesn't matter as long as you love and obey these terms. You not. Uh, on God, on God we trust. In God we trust. If you follow that motto, if follow that motto, in God we trust. You are an American citizen. You are not. I repeat, even though you're Eskimo, you have your native heritage, that's fine. 
but you're an American though. You're here in this country, you are an American. That makes you an American. We are united under God. That's what this country stands for. You see, they're not telling you this on national television or radio anymore. They're not teaching you this. We have to do this. Why? Because we're the only one that actually really, really cares about the real issues. We care enough, and this is why we don't do the political correctness here. This is why we welcome, you know, Walmart. We welcome, you know, yourself, you know, uh, with your book, you know, uh, the, 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 we the state, you know. Uh, you know, the state we live in. You know, this is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. We the people of the state. This is what we're talking about. This is what we do here. We bring the issues up that matter to the people. We do this and we have to inform people. You're not hearing this from any other news net networks out there. I'm not even reading from a teleprompter. I'm telling you from my own personal heart that this is what we do. This is what we this is the kind of program that we offer. And if you want to keep us going, then you make a donation to our network. Make a donation. Doesn't matter what it is, you make a donation. You bring your friends out there, let them know. And you know, we have we, we send invoices out to ATT, we send invoices out to um uh, to Cadillac already. Those have been done. You know, I signed it, my signature. Nobody else, no forgery, no plagiarism. It's my invoice, my network, um, and they got to pay for it. I mean, this is what we're doing. We're putting them on the air. We see, we're giving them airtime already because we're talking about, if we're talking about AT&T, we did that today. We talked about AT&T. The Occupy Movement, who are doing, who are doing mayhem, you know, the, the, uh, uh, who are burning down Trump, uh, Trump signs and, and uh, you know, throwing eggs at, um, at, at Trump, Donald Trump supporters, these are not Bernie Sanders. These are not Hillary Clinton. These are ISIS people. They're getting funded by George Soros, and they're getting funded by guess what? By these big corporations too to do this kind of stuff. That means the corporations that are doing this behind the mastermind behind this, the Verizon, H, uh, um, GE, General Electric, uh, also um, fires on uh, Verizon. Comcast, Comcast, DirecTV, and AT&T. This is this is outrageous. Why would companies pay for for ISIS? Why would they Why would they deal with a terrorist group like this? And did you know in the state of Florida, the Attorney General has followed uh, already slapped against uh, AT&T and also Comcast in Florida, five point four million dollars already in major losses already against the state already. So the Attorney General did. The job that needs to be done, Pam Brody. So, uh, what's your reaction? Go ahead. You got a microphone. I'm going to give you a reaction to this. Go ahead. Yeah, I agree with you, Mark. Unbelievable. This is a kind of this is a kind of crap that's happening, and this is a kind of this is a kind of uh, unresponsible. This is this is a, this is unresponsible for a corporation to act this way, you know, to actually promote thugs. For most thugs, these guys not these people are not even working. They're getting free iPhones, free Obamacare, and these corporations are paying them to actually be, do protests against um, and uh, throw eggs at uh, the Trump Trump supporters. I don't like Trumpy, okay, but I'm not. I'm I'm I don't I don't like Trump. I don't like Trump as a person, but I don't like the fact the protesters. Are doing this to Trump supporters. I don't like this. Okay, I don't like this. I if this is this is a, a, an act of terrorism. I don't like it at all. I do not. I do not um, uh, 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 support violence. Okay, I don't support violent behavior. And when I see violent behavior, as an act of terrorism. Okay, that's what that is. It's an act of terrorism. Argue me if you want to. I don't care. I don't care. When you when you hurt another human being, guess what? You are fighting against uh, we the people, we the United States. You know, and God and under God we trust. You're fighting that. You're breaking that. Uh, you're breaking that amendment. When you break that amendment under God we trust, well, guess what? You're no longer American. You are a terrorist.